today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my 2018 holiday gift guide for her. So when I was creating this list, I really looked for gift ideas that I could personally speak on. So either they're makeup sets that have products in them that I already love and highly recommend and have talked about in past videos, or they're gift ideas that have been on my personal wish list. So maybe I don't own them, but I really want to own them. And in fact, one of them, I just decided to go ahead and buy. When I was like shopping online and gathering gift ideas, I saw this and I was like, you know what? I have wanted this for way too long. My birthday's in about a month, a little less than a month. I'm getting myself this for my birthday. So I did order that, so I'll have to share with you what that is. Um, I tried to cover a good wide range of budgets. So I think the most inexpensive gift I have, it's about $35, and then it goes up to like $450. So I have you pretty covered. Um, I have quite a few in the $50, $60, $70 range, and then I have quite a few in the 100 to 150 range and then I have just a few that are over that like 200 250 mark so we have a lot to cover let's go ahead and get started so the first gift is by beauty blender and it's these two cute pastel colored beauty blenders with a solid cleanser and currently this is I think this is on special on QVC until the 16th or 17th so this entire set is uh, about 34 35 dollars and I think they're guaranteeing Christmas delivery um, if you order before the special but but I do like to constantly replace my beauty blenders and to me, this is just like, I mean, this is like the original foundation sponge, and I still think it's the best. There are some other good options out there, but I still think that this is the best one. Um, and in my opinion, you can never have too many beauty blenders. So if you have a makeup lover on your list, I don't really think you can go wrong with this gift. Okay, the next is a set that I saw on Sephora.com. I don't personally have this set, but I have owned several of these products, and they are some of my favorites. And it is the Buxom Lip Gloss Set. And this set retails for $34 and you get eight glosses and you get four lip liners. The, now these are some of my favorite glosses for a few reasons. They are ultra, ultra shiny. So if you like a really wet, shiny lip look, these are fantastic. They're very lightweight. They don't really feel sticky at all. They have the ones that have shimmer to them. The the shimmer is so like micro fine that when you put it on the lips, you don't see like shimmer or glitter, but it just adds to that glossy lip effect. It also makes the lips look really plump. I love the scent of these. They just feel fantastic on the lips. So I think this is a great value for $34. The next beauty deal that I wanted to share with you guys is an Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner set on Sephora.com. It retails for $29 and you get five travel size liners. These are some of my favorite eye pencils because they are so soft, they glide on so easily. Uh, it gives you a little bit of time to work with them, but once they're set, they stay in place. So they don't really smudge or budge on me. I think they are fantastic eyeliners, really comfortable on the eye, uh, very easy to work with, and again, they don't really budge. So I think you can't go wrong with these. So in the set, you get a black, and then you get a variety of other colors. I think it's a fantastic value for at $29. They are travel size, but again, you get five of them for $29. Bucks. Kapari has their Beauty Bestie set. It retails for $40 and you get uh, their coconut melt moisturizer, you get their coconut deodorant, their coconut face cream, and their coconut lip gloss. Now, I have tried the deodorant and the lip gloss from the set and I love them both. I kind of love everything with the scent of coconut. Oh, this is a brand new one actually. <laughs> I always keep a backup of this, like I have one that I use daily and then I have a backup of it. Uh, but I really like this natural deodorant. I've been wearing natural deodorants for about maybe two years now, um, and I started with the Native, and I really like that one too a lot. The difference between the two is that this is kind of like a clear solid, and the Native is like a white stick. So the Native do does leave a little bit of a white residue where this is a clear like solid gel. Um, they both are great natural deodorants in my opinion. They both smell fantastic. And the Kapari lip gloss I have, and I think maybe Brooklyn might have that in her backpack right now, but I love that lip gloss. It's really moisturizing. It comes in a little squeeze tube. Um, it almost is like a blend between a lip gloss and a balm. I haven't tried the Melt and I haven't tried the face cream. So I've swatched the Melt and rubbed it in at Sephora and it feels amazing. I think all of Kapari's products that I've tried, uh, whether I've purchased them and used them like consistently or I've just swatched them in store. I think all of them have felt amazing, but I've never owned the coconut melt or the face cream. So full disclaimer there, I can't really speak too much on those products. I felt like this would be a good gift and a good way to try the brand. Okay, I want to share with you this brand of makeup bags and cosmetic bags. This is the brand Stephanie Johnson, and I purchased these for myself earlier this year. I discovered them on Nordstrom.com, and I just think they are so, so cute. Um, so this is obviously a large makeup bag. It's great for travel. I mean, there's no really organizer in here, but it's great to throw kind of your larger cosmetic products. I just love the design of it. As far as price point, I think this was about $40. 
The smaller one that I own is actually like a supplement organizer. It comes with a little plastic case in here that divides, has, I think it has like six dividers for pills, but I took that out and I'll use this to store earrings or if you wanna store like a lipstick, something small, um, you can do that here. It's just a really cute bag. I think that this was, I wanna say this was about 20 or $25, but I think this makes a great gift because it's just really beautiful. It's just a really beautiful, like high quality, chic cosmetic bag. So I purchased this to travel with your jewelry earlier this year, and anytime I share this with a friend, they, are, they go out and buy it because it's so amazing. Uh, so this is a travel set for jewelry. It has all these little separate compartments to store your earrings. So I just think it's the perfect way to travel with your earrings because you can literally put each pair in a separate bag so nothing gets tangled. If you want to if you want to put your uh, necklaces or bracelets, everything has its own separate little pack pocket here and they all zip up and then it has even a little zipper here so you can put your studs. This was, a, I want to say around $25 or so. It was under $30, somewhere between $20 and $30. The brand is in bag. I purchased this from the container store. They have a couple other options of design. I think it's the perfect jewelry travel bag. Okay, anything Barefoot Dreams, I don't think you can go wrong with. I got two Barefoot Dreams uh, cardigans last year for Christmas. It was on my list and my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law ended up buying me them. And when I first opened them both, I thought, well, I'll take one of them back because I only wanted one, but I never did because I love them both so much, you guys. They are so incredibly soft and the coziest thing that you can own. Uh, they're a little pricey. They're like in the 100 to $120 range, depending on which style you get. Um, I actually am going to link a robe because I saw this robe online and this is on my wish list because I currently don't have um, a good robe. The robe that I have is like lime green and it's like 10 years old. <laughs> um, so I want this Barefoot Dreams robe that I will just kind of post a picture here. Uh, but I wanted to show you these cardigans because I wanted you to know like I do love this brand. It is so cozy, so soft, and I really feel like it's a treat. You know, it's not inexpensive. It's in the 100 plus range. So it's not something that you easily go out and buy yourself, I think, especially because it's something that you wear at home. So I feel like that makes kind of the perfect gift. It's something that you normally wouldn't buy yourself or spend the money on for yourself, but once you have it, it's like something that you wear every day. So I have two jewelry options for you. They're both by Kendra Scott. You probably have seen me wear these earrings pretty much in every single video for over the last two months. These are by Kendra Scott. I want to say these are in the $60 range, and I love these. I wear them every day. I know they look basic and simple and nothing special, but I think that's what makes them perfect because they are something you wear every day, and you can wear them a couple ways. Like you can wear it like this to where they're like vertically placed or you can turn them on the side to where it almost looks like an ear crawler. I have really little ear lobes, so a lot of ear crawlers are too big for my ear, but these are perfect. Uh, very simple, so if you have someone on your list that's very simple and classic and doesn't really wear a lot of like statement jewelry, this is a great option because it's something that she could wear daily. And if you want to spend a little bit more, um, I wanted to show you guys these bracelets by Kendra Scott. I purchased these bracelets at the same time that I got the earrings, and I love them. It's a set of three bracelets. It was, I want to say, $100. It was either $95 or $110. For some reason, those two numbers are sticking out in my head. But you get all three of them. And what I love about these is I have extremely small wrists, and I have never been able to really wear bracelets or bangles because they always, like, fall down to here. These are perfect for someone with tiny wrists, but they're also adjustable, so you can um, kind of expand them or tighten them depending on what you need and I love them they also come in rolls gold I believe and then silver okay you guys this Tory Burch bag I have been eyeing this for probably about a year and I decided to go ahead and buy it this was the item that when I was um, thinking of gift ideas for this video I was just like forget it I'm just gonna get it for myself and I bought it and I text Paul I was like I got my birthday gift he's like your birthday that's in a month I'm like I know but I got my birthday gift um, it is this Tory Burch camera bag and I love this bag I have been wanting a camera bag for so long I wanted something smaller than like a big tote but something that was large enough to keep my wallet and my phone and just not some not a tiny clutch I wanted something kind of in between and I love Tory Burch bags I have several of them it's kind of what I default to for like Mother's Day or anniversary or birthday. I always scroll her website to see what bag she has because it's kind of, she's kind of one of my favorite handbag designers. So when I receive this, we should receive it next week, I will be sure to share it with you guys on Instagram. I know I'm going to love it because I've seen a few people wear it and I'm still thinking about it like all these months later. It's, it's really an item that I've wanted for so long. So um, I'm excited to get that next week. And I saw on Nordstrom.com it also comes in black and then it comes in this really beautiful color that they're calling pale violet. It was really pretty. I almost considered getting that, but I knew that the sand color that I bought would be the one that I wear all the time. I knew that um, the violet one would be something that I just didn't wear as often, and I really think this could be an everyday bag for me, so I'm excited to get it.
The next gift idea is the slip pillowcase. Now I've been wanting a silk pillowcase for a while now. I got one in PR last year, but I ended up gifting it in a giveaway. So I haven't um, got to experience the amazingness of these pillowcases yet. But Gracie has me convinced, my hairstylist, that I need one of these pillowcases. So apparently silk is significantly less absorbent than other fabrics that are, we find in our sheets and pillowcases. So it's not really going to absorb like our skincare products or products that we put in our hair. I didn't even consider this, but when we sleep, after we've applied our skincare, our pillowcases can, um, that fabric can absorb those products or absorb like natural oils from your skin or your hair. So apparently sleeping on a silk pillowcase is supposed to be better for your beauty uh, regimen. So we shall see. I'm curious enough to where I want to try it. To be honest, I didn't know that I believed in all of that, but now I'm like, I want to try this. I want to try this pillowcase. Um, Gracie also said that it really helps with your hair. Uh, not only does it just keep your hair less tangly, but um, in the morning it just kind of keeps your hair looking better. So if you, if you take the time to style your hair and blow it out, sleeping on a silk pillowcase, you kind of wake up with um, less bedhead hair. So that is a great thing that's on my list. And I think also too, that's a great uh, gift because it's something that most people aren't going to buy themselves. It's like an 80 to to $100 pillowcase, depending on which one you get. And um, I know most of us wouldn't really kind of splurge on that for ourselves. So it's nice when you get a gift like that. I think this would be a fantastic gift, you guys. This is by T3, and then this, this is their Twirl Curling Iron. So I received the trio that has three different size barrels. Let me show you those. So it has the larger one, and then it has this size, and then it has this really small one for tight curls. Uh, you can purchase the curling iron. I think it's a one and a quarter inch barrel by itself. You don't have to do the trio. If you do just the curling iron, I think it retails for $185, but I saw this on Nordstrom marked down to $157 as of when I'm filming this. Hopefully it's still on sale by the time this video gets uploaded. Um, and then if you want to do the Trio, the Trio is originally priced at $325, uh, but it was on sale on Nordstrom site for $276 when I looked yesterday. Um, T3 does have sales all the time, though. If you sign up for their email list, you will get notified every time they have a sale, which I feel like is almost every day. They're, they have some type of promotion or discount codes. So I think Nordstrom probably monitors that and price matches, but you know, but you never know, it's definitely worth um, checking out both sites to see where you get a better deal. But I love this. Gracie and I did a Facebook Live um, tutorial on my Facebook page, Lisa J Makeup, and she showed how to get those really um, kind of effortless beachy waves. And I love the way my hair turned out. I've had curling ones in the past, but I think one with a clamp is just easier for me. I know it's all preference in which you're used to. Um, I'm not really skilled at curling my hair, so this I find is a little bit easier, but this is a really exceptional curling iron. Even Gracie approved it when she was here. She, it was the first time she had used it, and she's a hairstylist, so she does hair all day long, and she's like, this is really good. So um, I think that this would be a great gift idea, whether you do just the single barrel or you do the trio. I discovered these packing cubes on Nordstrom's site. They retail for $70 and you get a five piece packing cube set. Now what I loved about these is the design and the color selection. The rose gold in particular was my personal favorite. They also had it in like a blush color. They had it in like a marble print, uh, but I just thought it was really pretty. So if you have someone that travels a lot or that's someone that's really into organization, I have a few friends like that. I think this would be an exceptional gift. There are less expensive packing sets that you guys can get at Target or Amazon for sure. Um, $70 was a little bit on the high point, but I feel like these are really cute and chic looking, so they just are gonna be a little bit more of a special gift, but certainly you can find something less expensive like on Amazon or Target, uh, but I wanted to share those with you. So I've been wanting to share this carry-on luggage with you guys for months. I got this in August, I wanna say. I've taken it on three different trips. The first time that I traveled with this carry-on, I got three compliments from random strangers that just told me, I love your suitcase. I was like, oh, thanks. It's it was funny to me because I feel like most people don't notice your luggage, but I got three compliments the first day that I traveled with this. So the brand is Andiamo, and what I love about it, there's a few features that are really cool. So it has a uh, plug-in for your phone, so you can keep one of those portable like cell phone battery chargers in the luggage and then there's a little adapter that you can keep your phone plugged in outside so when you're sitting down at the airport and waiting you can be charging your phone while you're on it um i know when i travel my phone battery always dies because i feel like that's all i'm doing i'm sitting in the airport for an hour like waiting for my plane and i'm just on my phone using it and then my phone is dead and when i really need it the most because i'm traveling i don't have an opportunity to charge it and 
I also love that it has a combo lock on it. It's got a lot of pockets inside for organization. It comes in black and red, and then I wanna say it comes in another color. It retails for about $300, and it's the perfect size for a carry-on. I love mine. Like I said, the first day I used it, I got so many compliments. It's really easy to wheel around. I can set my purse on top of it. It's just like really the perfect traveling carry-on. In one case, I was able to just take that. Like I was able to fit all of my clothes and everything in just that and not have to check a bag, which is pretty uh, crazy for me because I don't think I've ever done that. So, so if you're looking for a nice piece of luggage to gift someone, I think this one is worth checking out. Okay, and the last gift idea I have for you guys, I've talked about a few times here, it is my GG New York uh, Grace Satchel Tote. Uh, I got this earlier this year and it's still one of my favorite bags. You guys, I think the size is perfect for an everyday bag. I love the shape, I love the color. You can have their initials that stamped on the front of the bag, personalized. I just think it's so beautiful and a perfect gift. I think the option to personalize it makes it very special. So again, I think it's kind of perfect for a gift because you can do that. But I love this bag. This is pretty much my everyday bag. It fits a ton, but it's not super big. I love it. It's got pockets inside to organize. You can put your cell phone and phone in there. I keep a little protein bar and pens. But I seriously love this bag. It has been um, pretty much my everyday bag for most of this year. I've swapped it out here and there, but I would say that uh, for the year of 2018, this bag is definitely the one that I wore the most. I don't think you can go wrong. It retails for about 450 50, but I know GG New York does have constant kind of promotions so definitely sign up for their email list and yeah I just think this would be really good if you have a, someone that you like to splurge for um, or if you want to purchase it for yourself too. All right, you guys, that wraps up my gift guide. I had a lot of fun kind of curating and putting this list together. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the holiday season and not stressing too much. I know it can be so overwhelming with everyone to shop for. This year, we, we're keeping it kind of simple. We've kind of rolled out like gifts for adults in my family. We just kind of all gift the kids. Uh, and so it's made it a little less stressful. And I really find for my kids is a lot of fun. Um, we have that elf on the shelf in our house. And so it's really cute to hear the girls go up to it sometimes and talk to it and say, hey, you know, her name's Libby. And uh, they'll say, Say, hey Libby I forgot to tell you this can you please tell Santa I want the and I'm like I'm like trying to like eavesdrop to hear what they say but yeah this year we are trying to keep it stress free and just kind of focus on the kids uh, anyway you guys thank you so much for watching I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video bye